Alright guys, uh, so today we're going to be doing a simple oil and oil filter change on this uh, Seat Ibiza Mark IV from 2002 to 2008. Uh, simple step guides. Um, if you want to uh, visit our website beforehand, we have lots of Seat guides on there which is www.diagnostic-world.com um, But let's get straight in with a guide. Alright, so getting under the vehicle, you're going to need a bucket where you can actually put your uh, used oil into. Um, what I'm going to do is just getting under the car here, I'm going to show you where the sump is and the sump plug. Right, so this item here is the sump. You can see there, that's the sump plug. And what it is, is it's an Allen key fitment. You can see that there? Stick your Allen key in there, and obviously put the bucket under first of all, so that we catch all of the oil. We do that before we do the filter. Right, so we've got the Allen key in here now, and what you're doing is you're just pulling it towards you, like that. So it will loosen the nut, and then. This is where you want to get your bucket in place and then start. No, actually, I'm going to keep the, uh, the glove on because the oil is still a tiny bit warm. You can just let the, you can see the oil start to come out there, you can just let the, uh, the nut or the bolt, should I say. Just fall into the bucket. So we'll let that completely drain out, then we'll tackle the oil filter. Alright, so this is the oil filter right here. Um, we've already slackened it off with the uh, removal tool. What you do is you just Loosen it up, put it over the top, tighten it up like so, and then it allows you to open the cap. And we've already slackened it enough, so we're going to start moving it. What do is once you feel like you're getting towards the end of it, make sure you've got some sort of uh, cloth or rag to hand because. The alternator is directly below. And you can see all of the, the oil dripping out straight away there. Make sure you've still got the bucket underneath the sump at this point because you will still get oil coming out when you release the oil filter. Right, so once you're at this stage, you need to take this filter out. Now, it does seem pretty tight. But the way to get out is just simply to pull it over this. Now, with your new filler, you may well get new O rings which go there and there and there. Um, so, replace those if you need to. Um, the purpose of the video, though, is for this is just simply to show you how to remove it. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put it straight back in. put the, the, uh, the new oil back in. Alright, so we're back under the car now. We can still see the odd drip coming through, so what we're going to do is we're just going to put a little cork in it for now. while we take the oil away because we need to get the sump plug out of here it should be fun generally they are magnetic so if you put a screwdriver in or something like that you should be able to get it out all right so we're going to remove this rag and we're going to put the bolt back in you 
just be careful because you might get a few extra drops coming out when you remove your, your little rag and then back in with your allen key tighten it up so you're pushing it away from me this time sometimes helps if you've got a rag or some gloves to give it a bit of extra push and then that is completely stuck where it is there okay now it's time to put the oil back in and it's just time to refill with oil Then we've put the cap back on the engine and the engine is good to go. Now, um, one thing I would say is, um, in this video we didn't show you the spark plug for ignition coil replacement, uh, or the air filler indeed. Uh, we do have those on a different video, so check out our other videos, um, or visit our website, www.diagnostic-world, and we do have video guides on how to change spark plugs, air filters, and also the ignition coils. Thanks very much for watching.